Mister? Welcome back. Hey, partner. I'd like a room, please. Room's all yours. Head on up. No, oh, it's, uh, you. Yes, it is. Last time I checked. I, I really don't need any more trouble. I didn't come to make any. I was just protecting a lady. Well, all behind us now, I suppose. And so what is it you need? A, a bath, perhaps? of any assistance in there. Yeah, okay. Sure. Just relax. I'll take care of you. You let me know if you need anything, all right? Let me know if you'd like a bit of an extra scrub anywhere. Sorry for smell. It's been a while. Oh, I'm not sure what to make of that. You'll leave this place feeling brand new, you know. I'll be out of your hair in no time. I think that should do it. See you then.
Arthur. Dutch? Miss O'Shea? Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. You, uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. They don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah. Dutch! Arthur! What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. <sighs> they nearly lynched me. They... They got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry, and there's talk of hanging them. Here's open. Arthur, what? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No, I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah, of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur, no crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. Come on, girl. I rode as fast as I could. Didn't stop for nothing. Yeah, you look like you've been through it. I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Micah's got a crazy side off it. What were you boys doing? You're supposed to be scouting ahead for it. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was, you worry too much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, Micah knew, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. Then he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. Happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. 
You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you gonna go get him? I'll come with you. No, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Mikey. It was drank that started all this. We'll just have a cup. Settle you down, then head back, okay? Okay. Now, I should warn you. Me and a couple of the other boys, we got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. What kind of fight? Oh, nothing big. No, we kept it clean. We're all good. <laughs> if you say so, Arthur. What's your problem? Here we are. Just one or two, right, Arthur? Of course, just a drink. No big drama. Can we get a couple beers, please? You, I don't want no trouble. You'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy a stuff, but Mike... A lot Micah... of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, there, dullards! My lord, you men is dull. <laughs> hey, leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone for the last ten years. Listen, buddy. You're a charming fellow. One of the best. <laughs> but me and the kid here, well, we're trying to talk business, so could you possibly leave us alone? No offense intended. Ain't no pleasing some folk. Just trying to be friendly. <laughs> That's great, Martin. Lenny, Lenny, where are you? Hey, you see my friend anywhere? I've no idea. Say I'm praying. Come here. Come here. Leave the kid alone, you cut. 
damn animals. Who do you think you're talking to? Nobody. I'm talking to nobody. What did you say? What? I said, what did you say? Get lost, buddy. Shut up, mister. Yeah, shut your mouth, mister. <laughs> Stop slumping off on me! Do I look like a Lenny to you? Been looking all over for you, Lenny. I'm Clyde. You got the wrong fella. again.
Not again. Reverend, where are you? Swanson, you hear me? Come on. Mr. Morgan. I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your God has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him. He's finished. None of us force liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither, but seeing I do just fine. You want to step outside or deal with business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They are children of God. <laughs> oh. Well, how's about you playing this place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? I can't, partners. <laughs> I don't mean to spoil your fun, but I got things to do. You sure? Quite sure. I got to get him out of here. Come on, Reverend, let's get you home. Where'd he go? I don't know. I was talking to you. <sighs> Gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Excuse me, I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, a priest, wandering about? Sure, we saw him, <laughs> smelt him, and avoided him. <laughs> he went that way, I think. Thanks. Yeah, I look kind of crazy, mister. Have you lost your mind? Off him. Say a word. You'll keep. You stay out of it. Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch. What the hell is your problem? He's with me. Uh. You're going down. Hey, you! 
Get back here! Oh my god, killed it! I'm gonna keep the law! Hey you! Get back here! What you saw back there? You're a dead man. You understand me? Yep. I I won't tell us so. I promise. Reverend! Get off the damn tracks! Just a simple mistake. You can still be saved. Hi. What have you done with your foot? It appears to like this place and wants to stay. Get your foot out of here. Twist your leg, you drunken bastard! Get it! Come on! <laughs> Thank you, sir! Uh, uh, oh, no, you don't! What the hell is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that! There was a goddamn train, you crazy bastard! <sighs> Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. <laughs> Let's get you home. Home? Yeah. That's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? But... <sighs> so sleepy. Okay, girl. Don't mind if I do. Hey, shut it back there. Yeah.
I was wondering when he'd show up. Pearson. Hi there. Better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. <laughs> oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor <laughs> bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. <sighs> Mr. Morgan. 